Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a Cli wallet, which is also known as a command line interface wallet. If you're not familiar with what this is, this is a Caspa wallet that is allowed to be generated through the command prompt app right here, which is on Windows. I'm going to be doing this tutorial on a Windows device and showing you guys how to actually generate a Caspa wallet through this interface right here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you download this specific file for your specific operating system. So if you have a Windows, you would choose the Caspad version 0.12.14 win64.zip. And that's the one I'm going to be choosing and downloading. The link to this page will be down in the description. All right, after you download this file, I want you to make a brand new folder on your desktop. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it Cli. After you name it whatever you wanted, go into your downloads and make sure that you extract all on this file and make sure that you extract it into that new folder that you just created. I'm going to hit extract and then all those files are going to go directly into this folder. All right, so now for the Cli wallet to actually work, you need to make sure that you're running a Caspa node. This is the only way you're going to be able to actually send transactions and actually see different information within the Cli wallet. So if you don't know how to set up a Caspa node, go ahead and click the link down below where it takes you to this page, kdx.app, and make sure you download whichever operating system you are on, download KDX to your computer. When you download KDX, it's gonna look something like this, and it should instantly start trying to start your node. The best way to know if your node is complete is that this DAG sync area right here says that it's 100%. If you actually wanna know where KDX is at in the process of making this DAG sync say 100%, go into the settings and make sure that you turn on advanced settings. When you turn on advanced settings, it's going to give you an extra option right here called cast pad. This is going to be telling you exactly what's going on with the node. And you can see right now that it's trying to start the node up and it's currently giving me percentages that are going to count all the way up to 100%. So once this is finishing syncing up, I'll come back and show you guys the next steps for setting up the Cli wallet. All right, so once the node is sync, you should see that on KDX, it says DAG sync is 100%. And another way to know that it's fully finished is that if you go over to the cast pad section, it should be saying accepted block and showing the transaction IDs for the blocks that your node is currently accepting. Once this is like this, you know that your node is currently running and now we can move forward to setting up the Cli wallet. The next thing you want to do is open the command prompt app. Once you open this up, you also want to open up your file that's on the desktop right here and go into this address bar right here and copy everything after whatever is going to be in this section right here. For me, it's the Vic RE, but whatever comes after that, that's what you want to copy. And then you want to go back over here and go ahead and paste that in just like this. Then what you want to do is add another backslash and just put Caspa wallet and then just hit enter. When you click enter, it's going to be showing you a list of commands that you can use. But before we put any of those commands, I had clicked enter to make it easy to simply just copy this right here like this and make sure you copy that so that you can easily just paste it in every time you're about to do a new command. All you have to do is write a different word. So the first thing we're going to do is create a wallet. So to create a wallet, you're just going to want to put the word create and then hit enter. Once you hit enter, it's going to ask for a password for the key file, which is basically creating a password to get access to your wallet. So I'm just going to create one. When you are typing this in, it's not going to show it on the screen, but it's still going to work if you did put it in 
correctly. After you put that in, it's going to give you an extended public key of mnemonic one. Now I'm going to show you exactly what you can do with this mnemonic key. So if you watched my Caspium tutorial video, you know that when you click import wallet, you have a few different choices here. There's a choice for import watch only wallet. And a lot of people were unsure of what can actually go here, but it actually requests to please enter your extended public key. This key is found only when you are creating a Cly wallet. So what I can do is copy this key and then go back in to Caspium here. Then I can paste this extended key into Caspium, hit next, and I'm just gonna put a random name here, hit next again, and I'm gonna just put a random pin. And this will allow you to actually see the wallet that was created through Cly on your Caspium app. And the way I have Caspium on my computer is I'm using a Bluestacks app player, which allows you to have an Android emulator where you can then use the Play Store and download Caspium onto your own computer. But as you can see right now, this is the Caspium app and it's now showing the watch only address of my wallet that I just created with the Cly wallets. You can also see that I cannot send anything because this is only a watch only wallet. I can only receive to it. So that's what you can do with the extended public key. Another thing that you can do with it is actually retrieve your seed phrase from it. So the way to do this is by reading this right here. It says, notice the above is neither a secret key to your wallet. Use Casper wallet dump encrypted data to see a secret seed phrase. So to do that, all we have to do is once again, we're, we're going to copy this path right here. And then I'm going to go over here and paste it into this spot right here. So before we use Casper wallet dump encrypted data to get our seed phrase, you're going to want to first use the command start daemon because if you don't use this command, then it won't work. It's going to ask you to do this first. So I'm going to paste this in here, click enter. And basically what this is doing is syncing your wallet to the node that should be running in the background through KDX. Once it's synced, this is probably not going to let you uh, write anything else on here. And all, what you could do is just duplicate this tab and then go to a new tab. And then we can go ahead and copy the path one more time. Once you copied the path and pasted it in here, you can go back and copy dump unencrypted data. And then you could just paste it like that hit enter, and then it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to proceed? This is going to show your whole entire seed phrase on the screen. I'm going to hit yes. And then it's going to ask for your password. Remember, it does not show it on screen when you're typing in. Once you type it in, it's going to show you a 24 word seed phrase. And this right here is how you get your seed phrase on the Cly wallet. So next, I'm going to be showing you a couple of basic things that you can do with this wallet, like sending and receiving transactions. So first I want to show you that this extended public key actually goes into a file within your computer. When you first create your extended public key, it should tell you right here, wrote the keys into, and it should give you the path exactly to where these keys were put into. So this is a way that you can actually locate this extended public key within your files here. If you just put that in there and actually we just need to remove this last part that says keys.json, and we just go here. These are the public keys to your client wallet. Now, if anyone gets these keys and put them into your computer, into their own computer or something like that, they can't steal your seed phrase because remember, you still need to put the password that's associated to this public key to get access to the seed phrase. I know I showcase my seed phrase here, but please do not share this seed phrase with anyone because this is your keys to your funds. If anyone has these seed phrases, they can actually put it into their own wallets and get access to your fund. But just for the purpose of this video, I am showcasing it here. The next thing I want to show you is how to send and receive transactions. So first, what you're going to want to do is create a Caspa address. So I'm going to once again, copy this right here up to Caspa wallet. And then I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to hit space and then I'm going to go back over here and copy the word new address right here. So I can easily just put it in like this and hit enter. And then you're going to have a brand new address for your wallet. So now that I have this address here, I'm going to send some funds 
to the Cly wallet. All right, so I have my KDX wallet here and with some funds in it, and I'm gonna be sending funds to this Caspa address right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and put it into my KDX and showcase how fast the Caspa network is. I'm gonna be sending one and I'm gonna include the fee in the amount. I'm gonna hit send. I'm gonna confirm the send and then it should send it over here. This is my watch only wallets over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to refresh this and see if the transaction comes through because I do have the extended key here. And boom, just like that, you could see that the one Caspa that I sent over is now over here in my wallet, my watch only wallet on the Caspi map over here. But it is also in the Cly wallet. And if you want to see your balance, all you're gonna wanna do is copy this path once again, paste it in there, go back to your other screen where you have the list of all the commands. You're gonna wanna copy the word balance, go back over here, put a space, paste that in, and then hit enter. And just like that, it's gonna actually show your total balance of Caspa within the Cly wallet. And you can see that matches perfectly with my watch only wallet over here on Caspium. So the next thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to see the total balances of multiple addresses. If you did create more addresses on this, you can actually use the same command right here. But if you put another space and put dash V, it's actually going to show you the Caspa address and how much it has with that address. So if you had multiple addresses on here, it will show you every single address you have that's associated to this wallet and the available balance that's on those addresses. So that is just a detailed way to see the total balance on the Cly wallet. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to send Caspa to other wallets. So the way you're going to want to do this is once again, copy this same path, and then you're going to want to paste that here, put space, type the word send, space, dash, V, and then in here, you're going to want to put the amount. So I'm just going to say uh, 0.1, then put another space and put dash T, and this is going to be to the specific Caspa address. So I'm going to put another space. I'm going to copy this address right here. And then I'm going to come back over here, paste that address in and hit enter. When you hit enter, it's going to ask for the password. I'm going to put that in. Once you put it in, you could see that the transactions were sent successfully. You can actually over see over here that it's being confirmed that 0.1 Caspa is coming into the wallet. And just like that, it went over and was confirmed to the network that has successfully been sent. Next, what I'm going to show you is how to send everything from the Cly wallet to another wallet because there is a simple command for this. I'm going to just go ahead and copy everything that I just put in. After I copied everything, instead of putting dash V, I'm going to go ahead and remove that and then just put a double dash send dash all and then make sure that there's no more extra spaces, only one space in between the all and the dash T to that same Caspa address, and then I'm going to hit enter. Then it's going to ask for my password. I'm going to hit enter, and then it should send the transaction over here. And let's see. And there you go. The transaction is now pending. It had sent all of my funds in the Cly wallet back to my KDX wallet, and you can see it's confirmed in 10 seconds here. So that pretty much covers the basics on how to use the Cly wallet. And if you have any more questions on figuring out what else to do with it, Go ahead and head over to the Caspa Discord and head over to the Help Wallet section. You can ask your questions there and people will be happy to help you. So there's one more thing that I want to show you, and this is basically just to make it a little bit easier on accessing commands for the Cly Wallet. And this is using batch files. If you're not familiar with this, basically it's a, a dot bat file is a, like a program that you kind of create so that it runs a command when you click into it. So let me show you guys real quick how to do that and how you can utilize this. So the first thing you're going to, want to do, let's say you wanted to create a link within this folder right here, your desktop folder, to be able to create a wallet automatically by just clicking into it. So what you're going to want to do is create a brand new text document. This text document, you're going to want to go ahead and just name it create wallet, for example. And I'm going to hit enter on it. And then I'm going to go into this text document. 
And then within this text document, I'm basically just going to put caspa wallet dot exe space create. Then the second line, I'm going to put the word pause and then I'm going to click file save as and then you want to go to the file name and put dot bat and then you're going to want to hit save. And then when you go to the folder, you should have a dot bat file just like this. And now if I click into that, you're going to see that it's automatically asking me to put the password for the key file because what it did was instantly run the command of this command right here, which was Casper wallet create. So if I put the password in, hit enter, and then one more time, hit enter right there, it's going to create a new public key. And that's basically just going to create my wallet. So this is just something you could utilize if you wanted to make a quick way on sending all of your funds to another wallet, you can create a dot bot file that has the command already set up to send all the Casper to a certain address. So that all you have to do is just double click into that program and it will do it for you. Another really good dot bat file to create is probably going to be the start daemon because you want to always start that up before you do anything because that allows your cli wallet to sync to the node that should be running through KDX. And I'm going to show you real quick on how to create the start daemon dot bat file. So you're going to want to once again, click new text document. And then I'm just going to name this test for now because this isn't really the one that we're going to use as you could see. When we created these, it created two. You can just simply delete this one after you create it. I'm going to go in here and then I'm going to simply just put caspa wallet.exe space start dash daemon and then hit enter and type pause once again. Hit file, save as, then you just put it as dot bat and then I'm going to rename this to start dash daemon then hit save and then when i go into my folder i should have a dot bat file that says start daemon and there you could see that once i click that it started the command start daemon and then it synced up my wallet so those are just some tips on making dot bat files to just make it easier to quickly access commands so that you don't always have to type it fully out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new on how to create a Cli wallet for Caspa. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And as always, don't be average, be different.